Bob. This video, we're going to continue the 2013 movie reviews, and this one we're going to review Oblivion. Okay guys, welcome back. So Oblivion, a movie that unfortunately at the box office got trashed. Uh, a lot of people didn't like the movie, a lot of people trashed it. Uh, didn't do well at the box office financially. Um, I decided to take a chance on the movie because I love sci-fi. And uh, while I'm not the biggest Tom Cruise fan in the world, there have been some movies he's done in the past that I have enjoyed. With that said, you know... I it, it might just be me. I, I tend to be very forgiving when it comes to movies because I, I use my imagination as a filler. And, and I think that for me personally, that tends to put directors and movie writers off the hook. Um, but I did not dislike this movie. Was it the greatest movie in the world? In no way, shape or form. But f let me just say first, visually completely stunning. Beautiful movie. Beautiful movie. Um, I love the music. I thought the music was very good. I actually have some clips from the, from the movie uh, downloaded. Like I bought the soundtrack, a couple of uh, tracks that I liked. And quite frankly, I thought the story was okay. I thought the story was okay. Again, another survival story, but this one a little bit different. Um, you know, I, I don't know if anyone's seen the movie. I don't know how many people have or haven't or are interested or not. I really don't want to give away the plot because the plot is actually surprisingly pretty good. And there are some uh, surprising moments that they're not necessarily wow moments like the endings of some movies like the sixth sense or or fight club or whatever the case may be or like saw the first saw the ending how crazy that was but at the same time it could ruin the movie if you know what they are so i don't want to really get into the plot too much what i suggest is if you haven't seen the movie and you think it's trash like just based on what you hear you haven't seen it but you think you say oh, i don't want to see it it's a trash movie give it a chance i think it might take you by surprise i, I really I really think that all the hate that Tom Cruise gets now that he never used to because of his wacko ways had a more of an effect on this movie. Uh, again, it's not a difficult plot, but there's some moments where you're like, oh shit, wow, I didn't see that coming. Or you have an idea that it's coming, but you're not 100% sure. And then when it does happen, you're like, ah, you see? So, and those kind of elements are good. I like that. Um, you know, it's... Uh, Visually, you're going to love it. If you love sci-fi and you love visuals, that alone makes it very, very good. Um, but again, the story was pretty good. I, I didn't think it was as bad as people said it was. I've, I've seen worse. I've seen worse movies do better at the box office. So the fact that this movie got as bad of, of reviews and all that as it did was a little surprising. But I think Tom Cruise had more of an effect on that than anything else. Um, but basically, to give you a rough gist, Tom Cruise and his partner, I forget her name. I forget their names. I haven't seen a movie in a while. Um, they are tasked with keeping these machines going that collect Earth's water because there was a huge war between aliens and humans that pretty much left the Earth scarred. And they're trying to salvage whatever water they can for their huge planetary space station where humans live now. Kind of like Wally, -E, except that not everybody's fat. But at the same time, <laughs> you don't see everybody. You just kind of see uh, Tom Cruise and his female co-worker uh, or working on, on making sure that the, the Earth's defense mechanism, there's like these little probes that defend these huge machines that are gathering the water, and they're, they're trying to protect it from these, uh, I, I forget the name, I don't think they were called lurkers, or maybe they were lurkers, I don't know, but they're supposed to be like aliens that are kind of just like scavengers, like they're leftovers, and they need the water for themselves to survive, so they're trying to destroy these machines, so it's kind of like a one-on-one -on -one war between these aliens that are left over scavenging for goods on Earth versus Tom Cruise and his girlfriend. And I'm sure there there are other units around the world, but they only focus on them. And um, and in between all that, there's a lot of crazy shit that happens that, again, I don't want to give away here because it's going to ruin the story. Uh, whether or not you think the story is any good, that's up to you. And anyone who did see the movie who knows exactly what happens, uh, please do not spoil it in the comments. Do not spoil it in the comments. I... I don't want to have to set this video to approval like I do in my Game of Thrones videos because people come in here and they ruin shit. So please, I ask you to be respectful to those who may not have seen it, who might be interested in seeing it. Don't blow it in the comments. Um, I'm pretty quick to react. So if you make a comment, you're just going to waste typing because I'll probably get it taken down within two minutes. So just don't ruin it. I'm trying to tell it in such a way that doesn't ruin it for anyone who might want to see the movie. So, But look, overall, it's, it's not as bad as people touted it. 
if you're a genuine sci-fi fan, even if you like some cheesy sci-fi, and I'm not saying this is cheesy, but if you can tolerate cheesy, you'll enjoy this movie. I thought it was good. Um, you know, it's not super action-packed. There are some pretty laggy moments, but for the most part, it's enjoyable. You know, you got Tom Cruise, Morgan Freeman, uh, Nikolai Keister Waju, I think you pronounce his name. He's the guy who plays Jamie Lannister in Game of Thrones. Um, you know, a good movie. A good movie. Um... Again, I don't. I, I really can't say much because if there's a chance that somebody hasn't seen it and they do see it, I'm gonna. Ru I don't want to ruin it for you because there are some parts where you're like, "Oh shit," that are very important for the plot. So I don't want to ruin that. But I'll tell you this much: give the movie a chance. It's not as bad as people were making it out to be. It really isn't. Um, it's got a really great soundtrack. It's got. I'm talking gorgeous. Gorgeous visuals, top notch. I thought it was great, and um, yeah, just go check it out. I really can't say much because I don't want to ruin the plot for anybody. So go check it out. Give it a chance. Maybe it's on Netflix for like a couple of bucks. Just you know, we tend to shit on money every now and then. So what's blowing three or four bucks on a movie? Just rent it and watch it. Anyway, guys, that's it for this review. I know I couldn't reveal much, but I really don't want to ruin it for anybody. But I enjoyed Oblivion. I thought it was a good movie. Uh, I don't know what all the fuss was about, but I think Tom Cruise. He just has that effect on movies now, like where before everybody used to love him. Now people really don't tolerate him much anymore. But uh, look beyond that and go check out Oblivion. I think it's a good sci-fi, classic sci-fi flick that a lot of people who are diehard sci-fi people would enjoy. And that's it. I'll see you next video. Take it easy. Hey, guys. Welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. I'm your host, Rob. This video, we're going to continue the 2013 movie reviews. And this one, we're going to review Oblivion. Okay, guys, welcome back. So, Oblivion, a movie that unfortunately at the box office got trashed. Uh, a lot of people didn't like the movie. A lot of people trashed it. Uh, didn't do well at the box office financially. Um, I decided to take a chance on the movie because I love sci-fi. And uh, while I'm not the biggest Tom Cruise fan in the world, there have been some movies he's done in the past that I have enjoyed. With that said, you know... I it, it might just be me. I, I tend to be very forgiving when it comes to movies because... I, I use my imagination as a filler, and, and I think that 